What is going on guys, today we are looking at Darmian, he is the 87 right wing back for showdowns, and honestly, looks again, quite a solid card, I think, in terms of the upgrade that these guys have had, obviously Muriel and Darmian, I'm pretty impressed, Darmian looks really, really nice, so it'll be interesting to see at the end what the difference is between, obviously, the Serie A right backs, and just see where he kind of comes in, where does he fit, is he actually the best right back now, or obviously, is there still better? I obviously don't particularly know too much about the defenders in Serie A, we do get a walkout in one of the packs, which is always nice, so you do get four packs back, we get an 86, which will obviously recover a little bit of cost from the SBC, nobody really else, but we'll just deal with them in a minute so let's go and whack the chemistry style on him i think we'll probably end up with an anchor i know shadow will always be in there but i think anchor is going to be the one to go for so we have whacked the anchor on Dam uh, damian it's going to call him damian we have whacked the anchor on damian turns him into a 91 right back with 92 defended and 91 physicality as well as 96 pace so to be fair, that's actually really, really solid. So over the overall, we'll have a look at the other right backs. I know Dumfries has one, but I think, I can't remember who else want, has one because I don't know if Caldrado has had a special card yet. He may have done, a, I think, I'm, something's telling me Adidas or something like that. So we'll have a look at that. But first, let's see what he can do. Darmian's here. And again, I'm expecting nothing but pace. Another benefit that I don't, oh no, don't let Vinicius in like that. He will run ragged. Uh, good lad, Delic is going to make sure that he gets it back. But another kind of point that I really didn't point out for Damian is he is a five-star weak foot. As we do kind of go into speed up lag, not a lot we can do there. We do manage to get the ball back straight away. But that five-star weak foot is always going to be handy at a very minimum. I don't think right backs need it, but always there just in case. Damian popping up for Vinny. Oh, does enough to kind of set unsettle him there. And unfortunately, the ball is going to be out of play. But I can already feel the absolute pace that comes from uh, Darmian, which is always fantastic. And I like it with both uh, right back and left backs. The pace is absolutely massive, especially when we do have the likes of Vinny. That the very tricky, good little block there. Very tricky, very quick, know how to move the ball. And when you've got a, a right back that just physically cannot do it, then that is lights over. But we see it right there. It's a great ball in. Politano is not going to have the strength to deal with Collins. Good tackle from Damian, takes him away, gets the ball out. So far, I've had nothing but praises for the lad. I think there is one thing that I am noticed with Damian, and especially seeing as though I already have... Um, that is a save and a half. I already have stay back whilst attack, and yet I know sometimes I'm kind of making him run a bit further, but a lot of the time I'm not. So you kind of notice that he has got very, very good work rates to get up that pitch, but maybe getting back down might be a little bit of an issue. And I say that as we go in with him, I was going to say, there's no way the right wing back compared to the striker is going to score the first goal. Good interception. So far, I think, uh, well, that's poor. I've So far for Darmin, I think, yeah, he's absolutely slapped it for literally the same price. So they're both coming in about 150. I think that's a solid price for him, especially an SBC that you can grind out. Obviously, league SBCs, we've got plenty of fodder unless you've done multiple icon packs, which I think everybody is is, is kind of really trying to, to do at the moment. But there is upgrade packs as well. I think an 82 should be pretty simple. The 86 may be a little bit more difficult, but... It most definitely isn't that much of a problem that I think you couldn't get it done in a couple of days um, at the very minimum. So you can practically get him for untradeable value. And then you potentially, like I say, have the chance for both of them to go up either plus one or obviously just a, a plus two for one of them. Damien being lost by Vinicius in the second half. Again, maybe something to always just, just wait on, just see. Sometimes you do have a very good first half, but then second, maybe they kind of just fall off. Maybe they're being used just that little bit too much, and that's what you don't want in your right wing back, right back, however you use them, really. If we are going into the Damien review then, so he's coming in at about 150, pretty much if you give or take. In terms of the SBC, two informs required, so four in total if you're going to do both showdowns, 286s, 282s. Personally, I don't think he's actually that bad. I think when we first heard it was Muriel Damien, 
I wasn't overtly happy because I feel like they definitely could have picked better options. But in terms of kind of where you're looking at, Barella's already got a very nice card, so you got a great link there. Skriniar, very nice card. Obviously, you could go for more than Barella um, with his informs. You then got Vidal, very nice indeed. Dumfries obviously is the same um, team, so unfortunately, that is what it is. Um, you got Player of the Month, so you got Correa who's doing quite well. So there is actually quite a few decent um, sort of players that you could kind of look at in terms of the Serie A in a whole I want to say Caldrado's got one but yeah he's got an inform I suppose so actually yeah oh Florenzi that's where I'm getting the wild card from so actually he probably is the best right back now um, obviously that five star weak foot is really going to come up trumps whereas Dumfries is a two star three star and then obviously Caldrado let's have a look at him because I know he's necessarily always been the most meta right back in the Serie A five star three star so personally in this FIFA I think the weak foot is definitely a bigger advantage than skills especially on a right back as well not necessarily needed loads but always good to have than rather not and I'd rather have the weak foot especially with a defender than actually the skill moves in terms of an anchor I feel like it, it fills the card up nicely defender dribbling stats actually not that bad good composure obviously I'm not too fussed about dribbling as much I think these four are definitely more important than that and they're in a relatively nice value and especially seeing as though we could get an 89 as well passing wise again I would like an upgrade on that but I feel like that's asking a little much with obviously all of these stats on an 87 being over 90 so for me I think he is actually a little bit of a dub um, you can grind him out I wouldn't necessarily go out and spend 150 but most definitely look at actually completing this card with untradeable fodder for the potential of an upgrade so for me I'm gonna think he's gonna come in I'd say around about a 9.4 at the moment in terms of right backs in the hole I feel like there still is better but for Serie A definitely the best so let me know down below like and subscribe peace